Ah. Sally. You feeling ready? I'm feeling tired. Fortunately, we packed the bag yesterday. So we just need to go. We have arrived at the first sort of location, which is the base. There's quite a few people here. We need a coffee. How are we feeling? Tired? You're, you're the morning person, how are you feeling? The sauce to keep us alive. They want to go to, and like, we're on a moving thing here, guys. So we've been given some coffee, and we've now got these breakfast bananas. Okay, so we are at the first sort of point. Been given a flashlight. I think we're ready. Got the goods. So this is our guide, Jack. Yeah. He's giving out the torches. <laughs> good. Good. Always oh, good. Thank you. And we're off. <laughs> so we've got about an hour hike now. You can see the, well, you can't see the summit, but you can see the lights for the summit. You can just about see the lights going up. That's other people hiking. And this here is a temple midway up. So apparently this is actually a volcano we're climbing and it is still active. So all this rock that you see, this is all lava. All lava, all of it, old lava, but it's all... <laughs> So we're about halfway to the summit now. So we got to the first point. How are we feeling? Sweaty. Sweaty. Enjoying it? It's good. You can see the stars. The stars are really clear. We've got about 20 minutes and we're going up above our heads. And the abyss down there is the opening of the crater, part of it. last erupted 29,300 years ago. And we made it. We are now at the top and we just need to wait for the sun to come up. 51 minutes complete. How are we feeling? Pretty good. Calves are killing sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a pretty amazing view already of all the lights and we are just waiting for the sun to come up. And we have now successfully seen the sunset. Rise. Sunrise. <laughs> Always do that. How did you guys find the climb? Silence. Challenge. <laughs> I've forgotten about it now. It's the climb down. Yeah. The climb down is, is going to be pretty rough on the knees, but the, the sunrise has been amazing. Um, we had a, a warm banana sandwich and then a boiled egg at the top. Um, Daisy and I had a nice cold coffee and we're enjoying the view which is currently quite blinding <laughs> and the heat so the sun has come up over there we've got a lake clouds another volcano over there and then more clouds 
So we're now making a couple of minute walk up to the proper summit. We've kind of just been at a viewpoint a little bit lower down because it's been quite busy. And then we can get an even better view. And we're finally at the summit. So we've, uh, we've got about halfway back down um, and we're at the crater again. This is like the mouth of the crater and we are surrounded by monkeys here, which is quite cool. Yeah, it's more hot. Maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's really warm. More warm? Yeah, I'll catch it. Yeah. Maybe you... Of course, steamy. Maybe you stick and fly here and yeah. the twin. Maybe many, many pokey come in because they connect. Ah. You can look... Uh, you can, you can look. Ah, nice. <laughs> so, where the lava from the volcano is, when you uh, blow into it, especially with the incense stick, you get loads of smoke waft back out again. It's pretty cool. This is my dog, yeah, I brought it with me. Yeah, all the way to Australia. And we're back down. That is the hike complete. Now we just need to go and find the driver. Legs are dead. <laughs> No major slips. Me. We did it. That was a major slip. <laughs> this temple is quite pretty now that you can see it in the daylight. Yeah, it's mad. It was all just Look stuff. at that. Come on, gals. <laughs> so to soothe all of the aches and the knees and the legs, um, our next stop is going to be to a hot springs. Um, I think it's fairly close from what he was saying, uh, but we've all got swimming gear in the bags and we're now going to go and bathe in some natural hot springs. So we're now at the hot springs um, and it oversees the lake, which is really nice. So the lake we saw is there. And this is the hot springs. This place looks really nice. Oh, check this out. These natural barbs. Go all the way down and across. So we've just got into the hot springs. There's about five or six different pools here. They're really warm. We've got these, I don't know, women that are weeing on us. And it, it's, it's, oh. After that hike, this is exactly what we need. Are we feeling a bit more relaxed now? Very relaxed. Very relaxed. I could sleep. Where are the lilas? Where are the lilas? Yeah, to have their bikes and have a purpose. But they could have got the bikes to just stick them out and then drove to the thing. It's nice. It's lovely. We've had our time relaxing in the warm baths. We're now going to go get ready and head back because we need lunch. We're finally back from the hike. We had about an hour and a bit drive in which I slept all the way through. I think Daisy got a bit of a nap and I think the other two girls got a bit of a nap too. Um, we're gonna shower up in a bit, have a little bit of food. Um, and in an hour, we are being picked up to go on a painting course. What are the courses called? Batik. Batik. Basically, we're gonna have a bit of fabric we're gonna use some melted wax to create a pattern, and then we're gonna use paints and inks and things like that to add color. Um, so that's our plan. The two other boys, um, Jason and Owen, have hired bikes for the day, and they've gone off to do some wood carving. 
So depending on whether they send us any video or footage, we'll be able to stick that in there as well. Um, but yeah, we the rest of us are going off to do some paint, decorated art stuff. So that should be quite good fun. But for now, we're going to try and get some rest, chill out, have some food, get a shower, and wait for the person to come and collect us. So just freshened up, um, <laughs> cracked myself open a beer. This is what you got to do when you're traveling, when you're away, when you're on vacation. Um, and I wanted to show you guys the river that runs alongside the back of our villa because it was too dark last night to see. So it starts up over there. It runs down here. We've got some cool statue looking things coming on down the bottom. And then it continues out. There's a couple of locals there doing some laundry. And it goes on down there. And then there's another stream that goes up there. So our driver is somewhere knocking about. Um, I don't think he knows exactly where we are, but we are about to be picked up, hopefully. Fingers crossed. We found our driver eventually, and I think we're here. We've made a start on the first part, which is the tracing. Once we finish tracing them, we then go at them with a bit of hot wax. How are you doing? Yeah, good. It's actually quite detailed, I didn't realise how much time it would take. Complicated design. Yeah. You guys putting the wax on, how's it going? It's pretty hard. Is it? <laughs> Looking good. Daisy. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Cleaner. Thank you. Cheers. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so we've done the wax. We are now onto the ink. You look like a natural. Call me Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've got my background finished. Daisy's nearly there. Nice. So isn't it? He's coming on nicely. As is Daisy's. Cleaners. Check that out. Baron. Okay. Good spirit in Bali. King of spirit. King of spirit. Every people, they have a baron and randa. Randa with a long tongue. Yeah, yeah. We saw him. Yeah. We're done. We finished it. Everyone's is looking really good. There you go. What do you think if you work? I think it's good. A few little spots of wax here and there but adds a bit of character nice. okay so we have nearly all finished our artwork now the process was we went upstairs um there was loads of sort of sheets of um stencils that you could choose from different designs from traditional designs which is what i chose um funky patterns like joe's chosen uh all kinds of different things you outline it then you use the wax and the wax goes around the design uh, and then once you've finished it we bring it down into this area 
and then we have all of the different inks and you sort of blot the ink and where there are gaps in the wax, the ink takes and it creates your image. So you can see the wax that Joe's put on there and all of the different colors. And while these are very different, this is kind of the end result. So you can see here where the white is, that is where the wax was. They let it dry. I think they then bake it, all the wax disappears and it leaves you with a finished product. So you bought it, nice. You prepare it, perfect. A sign to match our personalities. Daisy's found a new friend. I'm gonna go around again. <laughs> In your element there? Yes. So these are all the finished items of the day. They look amazing. They're getting them ready. So they get dunked in this bottle of water first. And next up, they're going to get boiled. So what does this do? This is the water glass. Okay. It's kind of the glue to fixing your color. Oh, so it's glue that fixes the color. So it's, yes. Okay. The taro will make the barong soup. Nice. This gets rid of the wax. The color is a bit black. Comes out a little bit, but okay. Then comes out the hot. And into the cold. Look at this. The finished product, look at that. Whoa. Nice. Nice, yeah? That is very cool. Now it just needs to dry, huh? Look at that. This spirit, so we learn from our grandparents. Learn from your grandparents. Yes. Amazing. So when I grow up, the people here already love that art. Mm. Yeah, we still keep and continue this Baron Cat. It's a big one. <laughs> yeah. So good. I'm gonna get some, it's so small. So we are now officially finished. We have derobed. Um, our artwork is currently drying. If any of you are in Ubud, if anyone watching this is in Ubud and they want to do something similar, and you can do the small drawings as well as the big paint that we did, um, come to this place. So this is their Instagram, Five Art Studio. Come and check them out. Follow them on Instagram by all means. If you can scan this through the uh, the video, go for it. Go follow them and come and do some of your own artwork. It's so much fun. Final thoughts? We are artists. Woo! Amazing. My one finished off. That's yes. cleaners. Awesome. Daisies. Daisies. Joe's. And Joe's. Awesome. We are now back in the villa. Um, we have completed and finished all of our day's activities. Our artwork is currently outside drying. So we're leaving it out there just to dry off. It's a bit damp. All of the ink is everything is set, um, but it just needs to dry off. The material itself is wet. And we're gonna order some food most likely, have a couple of drinks, play some games, and just have a generally chilled out evening. Um, this is our last full day here in Ubud. We are moving down to Changu tomorrow morning, um, but we've got some ATV activities going on first in the morning tomorrow. But I'm going to leave the video here. It's been a full on day um, with sunrise hikes and art stuff and all the rest of it. See you in the next one.